Hey gang. Well, I told you earlier in the week that I was going to try and do a story from uh, here, kind of a horror story from here, and well, well, actually it's, it's from outside of here, and uh, well, this takes place about around uh, 2010. Reno and his family uh, came back from Amarillo, and um, they were staying at his sister's little apartment. It was uh, Reno and his parents, his sister, and her four kids, all sharing one small little apartment, and it was not much fun. And I was staying at this little RV camper down by the VFW, and they asked me if I wanted to stay up there in the apartment on occasion because, you know, it was so doggone cold and everything. I did that maybe twice because, honestly, I am not a morning person, and they like to get up early, and I'm just somebody who likes to get up, you know, kind of around the afternoon time, so, yeah. So one morning, we got asked to come here to McDonald's and pick up some stuff for for breakfast. And I'm not a big breakfast person either, but, but you know. <laughs> and um, so what happened was, was that, uh, you know, Rena and I come down here and, you know, place an order and everything like that. And the worker at the time goes in the back. And so we're just standing around waiting chatting, being goofy and everything like that, and uh, someone or something comes out from the back and just plops the order down there on the, on the, on the counter. Not quite 100% sure who or what it was, but quite honestly, gang, it was scary looking, and so Reno and I got the stuff, got out of there as quickly as possible, and I didn't say much to him for a little while. We got a couple of blocks down the road, and I finally had to ask him, what was that thing? <laughs> and he went, well, her name is... And I stopped him. I said, wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that that thing that stood over the both of us had to have been about six, 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 seven, something like that. I mean, this was a very tall worker. Did not smile... Could swear up and down she snorted like a like a wild boar. Not quite and I'm not even sure I don't remember her her, I should say, even saying a word of English, just came out there, dropped off the order, and walked into the back. And I just said, Wait a minute, you're telling me that was a female? He goes, Yeah, it it, it was a female. I said, something like that is not born. It is created in a laboratory. <laughs> I mean, gang, I'm telling you, she was tall. And the scary part about it was, Reno actually told me that somebody we knew had a crush on her at one time. And I just said, who on earth could have a crush on whatever that was, that thing made in a science, science lab? And he goes, and I think I think he said it's it's uh, well now one of the roommates there at the house. And I said, he never really had very good taste in women. <laughs> so yeah, the dude I've called morphine on here sometimes apparently had a crush on that science experiment gone wrong that worked there years ago. And I think he said I think he said she was related to somebody we knew as well. So I'm thinking, oh my God, she had relatives that lived. So I don't know whatever happened to that creature. <laughs> uh, no idea. I pray to God it it never gave birth to offspring because otherwise. This world would be probably running around with little gremlins that would probably eat people, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, gang, it's getting kind of late, and I better get this bad boy back to the house because I'm going to try and get it uploaded at the library a little bit later on. And uh, so I hope you guys are having a—well, whenever you see this, but I hope you guys have had an awesome day. hope you guys have an awesome weekend. 
going to be really busy this weekend, I'll tell you that much, gang. But it usually is for me on the weekends. So, uh, so yeah, that's my scary story from McDonald's. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty more to come for this month. So uh, just want to say you know, to all you guys, thank you guys so very, very much for watching. Thank you guys for keeping this channel going and growing. I really do appreciate it. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. So I'm going to get on out of here. Take care of yourselves. Be good. Be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.